Hi guys, from Case Gastry Carriage, and uh, this one is the the Austin or the British Leyland Mini, and it's for the Deep Drunk Garage race car build off. As you'll see, we just start off with a, a standard looking little Mini. These were lovely little things to drive, and if you've ever had a, a going one, I'm sure you'll agree they're great fun. If you haven't, you need to. They're brilliant, brilliant little things. Um, as you'll see with this one, it's got broken bumpers, etc. And the rear bumpers all built in. Just going to take it apart quickly. Doesn't take very long, as usual. 3.5mm drill. I will, ex uh, will apologise now, guys. Um, most of the video is actually speeded up on this one. The reason being is, it is such a long video. I would have had to have done it in three or four parts. Um, and so what I've done is I've just speeded it up and we're just going to go for it as one, just as a speed build. Making sure now that uh, it all fits back together, which it does, so I just put the screw back in for, uh, for safekeeping. Into the, uh, into the shitty strip. And as you'll see, it's uh, it's been renewed, and at the minute it's working. So after a quick clean up with the with the brush, can uh, start taking away the the built-in bumpers because I, I I want to debumper this one. So I've grown most of it away. Now in with the the other channel tool, and a lot by hand. A hell of a lot by hand. Um, yeah, it took bloody ages, absolutely ages to get this this bumper and that back down to uh, to where it should be. But I think it was well worth the effort. These look absolutely fantastic when they're uh, when they're actually de seamed. Um, I don't know if you. Any of you are mini mini fans, um, but what you get with these is that there's always a seam that runs down um, the rear corners, uh, the front corners, and all the way around the roof. And what people do is they they de seam it. What they do is they, they grind it off and they weld it up, and then they respray the car, and it looks absolutely lovely. It does absolutely brilliant. Well, I didn't go that far. I didn't go that far. I, I just took the bumpers off it. Um, just making up a, an interior. I've cut, cut the seats out. Put a raised seat in there. Um, just cut some piece of plastic for the bottom. Just making a, a small fire extinguisher to go in there. Out of it, a piece of plastic tubing. And then just... Making a making a handle from a, a piece of um, 3D printer filament. Uh, it's easier to sand it down whilst it's on there. We'll just stick that at the end. Fiddly bloody thing. I couldn't get it to stick on. Can't stick it to my fingers or to the tweezers. In goes the the dashboard console. But we're, we're, we're altering this as well, uh, taking away part of it so as it looks more flat. And also I moved the steering wheel up because as it was, um, whoever was driving would be steering it with their ankles. Just super gluing it back in place. There we go. Now for a, a roll cage, just measuring up. Just get the pen. And we're just going to bend this by hand. And what I'm using is a 1.75mm uh, 3D printer filament. I'm not going to be painting it. It's, it's silver anyway, so I'm just going to leave it that way. Great little things to uh, to build if you're 
uh, if you want a bit of fun, build, build a, uh, a roll cage. <laughs> Let's just say it's easier to do it on the real thing than what it is on the little car. So just tweaking it around and twisting it about to make sure it fits. And the easiest way I found was we'll stick it to the uh, we'll stick it to the inside of the the windscreen piece. Much easier than trying to fix it to the car. And then put this, um, make sure that it fits nicely to the roof, etc. This way we can work the other way down. We can fit it to the roof, and then we know that it's going to fit to the car. So about the camera angle. Sometimes when uh, when you're concentrating, you, you just accidentally forget about your um, your actual recording area. Hope you're all staying safe, guys. Hope this uh, virus is um, stays well away from your your family and yourselves. Horrible times that we're in at the minute. But uh, I'm sure if we do the best we can and try and stay isolated, I'm sure we can uh, pull through this. Very, very sad times at the moment. My heart goes out to all the ones in Spain and Italy, and now the big outbreaks that are going on over in the United States and uh, also here in the UK the uh, unfortunate deaths are rising um, severely daily and uh, let's just hope that it soon slows down stay, stay safe everybody stay safe That's the interior painted up. I'm going to pull a little bit around the interior of the, gra of the glass, just for photograph reasons. If uh, if I do take photographs inside, sure agree. That looks uh, that looks well smart. Well worth the effort. I say it's a, a lot of a lot of time has been spent on this. Um, I did actually fill the front grill in. I just used the uh, the Humbrol uh, model filler. Just like it's just like the the Tamiaf filler, but it's, it's the Humbrol version. And I've let it go off completely, and now I'm just putting some drill marks in there just to simulate. Um, air holes. First of all, we can uh, just spray the roof white. Give this a couple of coats. I'm just using Tamiya colours here and now I'm just going to mask the, the roof off and we're going to go in with the nearest I could get to British Racing Green and I believe this is uh, Tamiya, I believe it's X5 Just uh, going off the top of my head there on the trying to remember the number of this. And there we go, a couple of coats later. We can uh, peel the masking off. 
unfortunately there's a little tiny bit that came up so we'll just touch that in and there's a couple of little couple of places where the um, pardon me a um, couple of places where the green actually set um, bled underneath the masking as well because I didn't use a clear beforehand so on to the the wheel change I love these little wheels I cannot remember whatsoever where these wheels came from I mostly take them off a vehicle and put them into my um, my wheel pot thinking I'll use them I just cannot remember at all where they come from so that's them done just making sure they all turn I've just got a little tiny bit of CA behind it but it still turns now for the deck holes and these are an absolute pig these fought me all the way Start, started off with I printed them out absolutely fine I used Tamiya um, clear acrylic rattle can like I always have done um, but this time I used the the matte and not the gloss bless yourself let me lesson um, I gave it a light coating absolutely fine gave it another light coating absolutely fine like always and then after a few minutes I gave it a, um, a nice heavy coat like I always do and it crattled it all it came out looking like a, a garden path it did so I thought alright okie dokie well we'll see how it is in the morning when it's dry um, and it, it seemed to have settled down and I thought ah oh, brilliant that's alright then absolute bloody nightmare um, the the decals kept breaking on me, kept snapping. Um, the decals are that small, I had trouble um, actually placing them. Absolute, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say, done my head in. I did actually do checkers on the roof, but unfortunately, where the, um, the decals were breaking up, it it was horrible so I just took it off again I'm not using all of the actual um, decals I did print an amount of spares um, just in case of screw ups because you know damn well that if you print just enough it'll screw up and you'll be kicking your ass because you've now got to start making more decals so it's better to make too many and you've always got some then just chuck them in the drawer and you've got some for another build sometime doesn't take too long um, what, I, what I've done was I I learned from it again with this bloody Tamiya rattle can. I placed some deco over the front screen and then I rattled rattle can cleared over the top and it hazed all the all the glass. It just etched into it. Now I've never had this problem before, so I ended up having to rub it down and uh, use a tea cut and polish it out and redo it. But we got there. We got there in the end. I say this this build actually has fought me 
all the way through. Uh, it's, it's been a fun little build. It's been a very, very long build. Um, as you know, I've, I can't do too long at a time. Um, when I'm working on these builds, so these are multiple, multiple sessions. The, uh, the roll cage was slightly too long there, so the, the base wouldn't fit on. Uh, this is all trial and error because I haven't, I haven't tried it before. So, just a, another little trim, snip, off with the scissors. Um, I won't tell you what words are coming out at the minute. There'll be little hashes and bleeps and everything coming up. Where's the little screw? There you are. Final little bit is a screw and... Look at that. Isn't she lovely? Really, really loving this. I think it looks gorgeous. True representation of a 1970s, 1980s little rallycross mini. And if I had my own garage, then I would definitely have a mini for for rallycross. Um, I've raced them before, and I've raced escorts as well for rallycross, and great fun. Obviously, I was a, a lot, lot younger, <laughs> and that was back in the 80s. But here it is from the beginning and its original state with all its broken bumper and everything like that. Are you ready for the uh, the reveal guys? Here's a close up of it. The Scale Street Garage Shop Race Car. Let's say a big thank you to Bob over at Deep Junk Garage for, uh, for hosting this build off once again. Cheers Bob, you're a diamond mate. And uh, just going to try and get a couple of little close-up shots for you of the inside. And whilst these are planned, just like to say a massive great big thank you to everybody for watching. Big thank you to all my subscribers, old and new. Remember to go and watch everybody else's builds as well for this Deep Junk Garage uh, Race Rock Challenge. And uh, plenty of uh, lovely, lovely builds out there there'll be because they're uh, really, really talented builders. So, uh, Thank you everybody for watching, take care and uh, stay safe. Catch you all soon, bye bye.